In this video, we will continue on where we left off with the bootstrap model form. So basically, we have here in Bootstrap 5, we have the model with the form. But now what we want to do is we want to add up the validation as well. So how to do that in Bootstrap 5? So first of all, to do this, we go here in the forms and then you click here on the validation. Once we are here, and it will give you a notice here that validation on the client side will not work 100% perfectly if or, or basically are not accessible for the assistive technology. So this is very important if you have certain items that you need assistive technology, you might need to use the default setting where you just put in here the required and that's it. It will not show you anything. But what we're going to do now is we're going to just use the very basic design that we have here. If we click on submit, we have these nice color designs here. All right. Just a quick note here, because we are here on this specific item here, and this is just our, uh, basically on the desktop here, and then it will not work. It should be basically on the hosting or on a local host or local server. So that's a quick note here. So we are not 100% able to, to check. Later on, I probably have to make a separate video for that, how we create our own local host, and from there on, we can test this. So what we will do is we will definitely use all of these information here. So what do we need to do? First of all, you can see here in the form and then it has the few options here. No validate and needs validation. And that's basically the class and this is the um, attribute as well that we're going to put in here. So we go look here for the form we have here and you can see here, oh, I already had this one here, but basically it's the following. It will be needs validation and no validate by default. So at the beginning, it has not been validated. If you don't do that, what will happen is, or you will force validation, it will by default show like this, which is of course not what we want. We want the user to fill up first. Next, what we're going to do here is, we could do, for example, a message here, the moment they have a incorrect input that we can indicate to them, please put in the right information. So let's say here, we are like this. It's basically this. You can see here, this it would be green like this. It looks good, meaning that the validation is correct and it will be valid feedback. And then if it's incorrect or invalid, it will give us an invalid feedback, which would be this one here. For me, it makes more sense to only indicate invalid feedback so the user or the, the uh, customer knows exactly what to do. So we want to make sure that the user is informed where they make the mistake and target that. So let's say we're going to put it in here. We have this one here and imagine here, we're going to put in this. We put in this here. So that's not what I wanted. Please choose this. And then what we can do here, of course, very straightforward, but I'll just put it like that. That's fine. And there we are. Say, please um, enter email address with double D, all right. Uh, sorry, that's, yeah, is that? Yeah, that's correct. Like that. So we have that one there. So do that one. So here it will only show this, but of course, to make sure that this is correct, we need to force an input here. So we say here, this is the required item. Same here would be for the other item is the username. Here, let's make this one here also required and finding for the password required. All right, so if we save this right now, of course, nothing will happen here. So what we're missing still is basically the submit, the trigger. So we need to have a submit here. So you can see here they have here the submit in the form here. So we can just copy this one. We just put it there. Then that would, of course, you might say, well, wait a minute. This will counteract on this. That is correct. If you really would like to solve that, what we can do is the following. We can put it in here. Well, this would be this, but then we'll be counteracting with this. If you would like to have the form button here working, there's two ways. You can put in the form that we connected with a specific form, or we just move the form a bit more down, which is also fine. We could move the form, for example, to a specific location here. So we have to check one or the other. It could be, doesn't matter. So I'm going to grab this one here. We put in here submit, and I'll just say here dark. That's all right. Save that. Refresh here. And then here, and if you click, all right. It, although you can see that something is happening, but it's probably what happened is reloading as well. But we're not done yet here. What we still need is the final item is the validation. All right. So we have here, this is the browser default, which would be basically be this information here. 
and this is on the server side which could be as well an option if you want to do it because basically the client side will not check well it will just only check but they can of course do certain things and tricks with that to to uh, that can could make it dangerous so with the server side it's 100 percent accurate here and then you could do something but that is all right for now we just skip that one i'm not going to dabble into that so let's search here and what i'm really looking for you might wonder is the following code here below let me double check the loop customizing no i don't want that I want to have the JavaScript here right now. I'm just looking for the specific commands here. Uh, where are you? Where are you? This is state form selects. All right, all right. Don't need that. The loop. All right, let's go here to how it works. And then I'm sure that I'm missing out here somewhere. Oh, all right, that's it. This is basically the JavaScript code and this is quite nice let's copy that here this is quite nice you can see in such a short time we are able to create something very quick we we'll do this one here make sure the script is just below the bootstrap here put it in here paste this in and here we have now basically our working model if i save this now refresh here let's see if it would work on any possible way you can see it is start to work and uh well let's see we have here something there you are that that's nicely done and then of course this.com and then it would submit there we are it will submit but of course the submit will do nothing here it's just question mark however you can see here and this is quite nice because this here helps you on this here it gives you also information this could be as well with actual labels but it will save you as well a lot of time in making it in such a short time so this is one part of bootstrap and there's absolutely more stuff that we are going to cover as well in bootstrap 5.